Let's go. Hello and thank God for this beautiful weekend. Today is Saturday, the 19th day of 2022. And your boy today is here as usual, telling you about the fact that prayers unlock divine revelations. We have been in the book of Daniel for a few days now. We are still going to be in the book of Daniel. And you will see how prayers unlock divine revelations when we read from Daniel in chapter 9. We'll be reading a few verses, skipping some, and starting from the first verse and ending with the last verse. Let's go very quickly. In the first year of Darius, the son of Hahazerus, by birth a maid, who became king over the realms of Chaldeans, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, perceived in the books of the number of years, which, according to the word of the Lord to Jeremiah the prophet, must pass before the end of the desolations of Jerusalem, namely 70 years. Then I turned my face to the Lord God, seeking him by prayer and supplications, with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. While I was speaking and praying, confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel, and presenting my supplications before the Lord my God for the holy hill of my God. While I was speaking in prayer, the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at first, came to me in swift flight at the time of the evening sacrifice. He came and said to me, O oh, Daniel, I have now come to give you wisdom and understanding. At the beginning of your supplications, a word went forth, and I have come to tell it to you, for you are greatly beloved. Therefore, Consider the word and understand the vision. Seventy weeks of years are decreed concerning your people and your holy city to finish the transgressions, to put an end to sin, and to atone for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal both vision and prophet and to anoint a most holy people. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the word to restore and build Jerusalem to the coming of an anointed one, a prince, there shall be seven weeks. Then for 62 weeks it shall be built against, again with squares and moat. But in a troubled time, and after the 62 weeks, an anointed one shall be cut off and shall have nothing. And the people of the prince who is to come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. Its end shall come with a flood. And to the end there shall be war, desolation, are decreed, and he shall make a strong covenant with many for one week, and for half of the week he shall cause sacrifice and offerings to cease, and upon the wing of abominations shall come one who makes desolate until the decreed end is poured out 
on the desolate. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A lot is packaged in this passage that we just read, but we are limiting our discussion today to the fact that prayers unlock divine revelations because we are not going into these revelations that were given to Daniel, but you will see that right from the times of the prophet Jeremiah that he mentioned, prophet Isaiah, prophet uh, Micah, and other prophets of uh, those uh, generations, there had been that promise of that anointed one to come. And it was Daniel that saw it in his own generation because he prayed a lot. And Angel Gabriel, the one that would visit the woman who would bear that anointed one, Jesus Christ, was also the one that was to attend to Daniel at this point in time. So you can see that angels are ageless. They are just there from generation to generation. But your prayers can unlock divine revelations that can be brought to you by the Holy Spirit or by some of those angels the way they did in the days of old. For it is just that for us now, we have that comforter, the Holy Spirit, who has been given to teach us, to bring revelations to us, to remind us of things about the word of God that we would require for situations and circumstances that we may find ourselves. But you must remember that prayers are very important. That's why I will invite you to join us. We have a prayer, fasting and prayer session going on now. It will be on for two weeks, started Monday 15th, and we are going on till um, Wednesday the 30th day of November 2022. That's for Ross members of the Anglican Church of OPS to the extension. Why well, I invite you to join us in the prayers because we are doing the fasting and prayers by remote sessions except on Wednesdays when we come together for our midweek uh, programs and on Sundays when we are there for our regular Sunday services. But what we are saying is that prayers unlock divine revelations and if you get into that attitude of prayers so many things will come your way that hitherto people before you had never known had never seen you see any man of god today who is working with the prophetic unction it must be that he is very deep into prayers and so that will always unlock divine revelations for him look at what jeremiah himself said in chapter 33 verse 3 of his book is that call to me that's what god said through jeremiah there that call to me and i will answer you and i will show you great and mighty things which you do not know and you know what even when jesus christ himself came in john 16 24 he said hitherto you have asked nothing but ask now in my name and your joy will be full and paul also wrote and assured us that he is able to do for us exceeding abundantly above all we can think or ask of in prayers to him. Therefore, get into that mode of prayers that unlock divine revelations and it will be well with you. You'll be shocked how the Lord is going to have fellowship with you, communicate with you. You will hear him, he will hear you, he will hearken unto your prayers and he will give you directions. And I pray that will be your Lord in Jesus' name. But remember, Join us in our prayer and fasting. You will see that slide. The moment I finish this uh, message, and you can also join us in prayers. But for you, you are not yet a Christian. How can you have prayers that will unlock divine revelations? What if you are interested? You can start off today by being a Christian. Are you set for that experience? Just say this prayer after me if you are. Say, Lord, I come to you right now. I also want to be part of the people that will say prayers that unlock divine revelation. Therefore, forgive me of all the sins of my past. And from today, let me be one with you, one of yours, one that hears you and that can communicate with you in effective prayers that unlock divine revelation. I pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. If you just said that prayer, 
you need to grow in the faith. So find the Bible believing church. I always recommend that if you happen to be in the show, Washington State, Nigeria, come straight to the Anglican Church of the PSL Extension. The Chapel Hall for now of the only branches, middle and high schools. Or you come and go to your new one drive of the PSL Extension. You can join us on Wednesdays, 5 o'clock for our midweek services. And on Sundays, 10 o'clock for our regular matins or holy communion services. And as you go out to dinner, everybody, say, O Lord, grant us the burden to pray until we receive answers to our prayers that unlock divine revelations through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So go out today. Recognize that there are those prayers that people like us say that unlock divine revelation. We can boast in the Holy Spirit. We can boast in the Lord. You can join us and it will be well with you. God bless you. I call you faithful